My name is Dr. Paul Choi. I am the director of Los Angeles Endoscopy Center. I am also a fellow member of American Gastroenterological Association. In this presentation, I will be discussing irritable bowel syndrome. Irritable bowel syndrome, or IBS, is a disorder of the large bowel that affects up to one in six persons. It frequently presents with abdominal pain, cramping, and change in bowel habits. IBS can occur at any age, but often develops between the age of 30 and 50. It is twice as common in women. The cause of IBS is not well known, but may include stress, hypersensitivity, abnormal intestinal motility, and infection. The symptoms of IBS may vary from mild to severe. The most common complaints related to IBS are abdominal pain, fullness, gas, and bloating. Patients with IBS also complain of either diarrhea or constipation, and sometimes this may alternate between the two. Fortunately, even though IBS may decrease the quality of life, it does not lead to a life-threatening condition or short lifespan. Most cases of IBS are diagnosed based on symptoms. A complete medical history, physical examination, and routine blood tests are often necessary to make the diagnosis. In addition, stool tests to look for an infection may be considered. However, for patients with symptoms that are persistent or severe, it is usually helpful to proceed with a full evaluation including a colonoscopy, a visual examination of the colon. This is especially true for individuals who are over the age of 50 or have other symptoms such as bleeding, anemia, or weight loss in order to exclude other more serious disorders. The goal of treatment in IBS is to relieve symptoms. Lifestyle modification can be helpful in many cases of IBS. For example, a regular exercise an improving sleeping pattern may reduce anxiety and help relieve bowel symptoms. Dietary changes can be useful, especially a high fiber diet and a trial of lactose free diet. Avoidance of bowel stimulant such as coffee or caffeinated drinks may also be helpful. Depending on the severity and type of symptoms, Medical therapy such as antidiarrheal, laxative, antispasmodics, and even antidepressants may be indicated. Thank you for listening.